Hi, welcome back to my channel beauties. Like I wanted to switch up my intro because these days a lot of you guys normally just predict my intros. Even before you click on my video, you're like, hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to take you guys on a ways and I hope I did. So from the title of today's video, we're going to treat acne, 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 acne. And I'm going to show you guys how I cover my acne, my dark spots, my hyperpigmentation. Like as you all can see from my face, I don't have a perfect skin. Like I always say this in almost all my videos. When I started this channel, you guys, like acne used to be one of my major topics. Like most people like back then they always like referred to me when it comes to acne people really like related a lot with me because of the fact that i used to have terrible acne you guys like i'm gonna insert a picture right here if i'm able to see one of my old pictures like when i used to have terrible chronic acne i'm gonna insert the picture right here so you guys will understand what i'm talking about so before we go ahead and cover up all this you know things on our face i want to first of all say that you know, it's good, it's okay to cover up your acne to, you know, achieve a flawless looking skin with your makeup. But then at the end of the day, you know you want to take care of your skin. Like, you just want to take care of that skin beneath all the makeup. And I would really advise you, look for a very nice, like, skincare line that caters to, you know, acne um, sufferers. And yeah, I love my acne.org products. And once you have a, a nice skincare, you know, routine, you also want to, once in a while, maybe twice a week or once a week, you want to go ahead and, and exfoliate your face. And when you you notice when you break out, like this acne right here, you know, it's still fresh, it's still, you know, doing its thing. But once like it dries off, it always looks, it, it always leaves some type of a dry skin, you know, on my, on my face. So the best thing to do is to go ahead and exfoliate and you know when you exfoliate you get rid of all the dry skin on your on your face and also exfoliating helps in giving you that very flawless like canvas so that when you apply your makeup it just you know glides on really really smoothly without all the cracks and all the bumps on the face so before i start off with my makeup the very first thing i always 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 love to do is to go ahead and prime my skin and if you follow my channel you know I have a very like oily skin so I always you know prefer using a mattifying primer if you don't have an oily skin you can easily use you know like a hydrating primer but for me because of the fact I have an oily skin I always love to you know use a mattifying primer and for this video I'm going to be using my Sasha mattifying primer I don't know what's going on. It looks like my neighbor is cutting trees in his compound. So please, you guys, excuse the noise. So once you've applied your primer, you want to give it a little time to absorb into your skin. You want to give it like maybe two to three minutes so it will, you know, soak into your skin. You don't want to go immediately with your foundation. I'm not sure. Can you guys hear me? Like this um, tree cutting noise is really annoying. Oh my gosh. Please. Are you done? I mean, I have to see because this is crazy. This is the worst thing ever. Like, everywhere will be quiet before you start filming, and then once you start filming, is either somebody is playing music loud, or somebody is cutting trees, or somebody is shouting. It's crazy, you guys. Oh my god. Only God knows how long this is gonna last. Oh. I might decide to wait for these people and spend three hours waiting. So let's just move right ahead. I'm going to try as much as possible to talk louder, but please, you guys, excuse this noise. All right, so once the primer have set into the skin, the very next thing I love to do, and I started this particular step recently, is to go in with a translucent setting powder and just use it to apply on the areas where I normally produce oil, you guys. Like, um, I produce a lot of oil on my skin. And this will help a lot in keeping, you know, the production of oil on those areas, you know, at bay. I'm so happy it's like they are through with their tree cutting. So, once you apply the translucent powder, the very next thing you want to go ahead and do is to apply a concealer. When your dark spots and your blemishes are like um, black in color or brown in color, you want to go ahead and use a darker brown concealer to spot on those areas. This particular step right here has never failed me. This is the best step, you guys. You have to try this out if you have dark spots. You just 
yeah, I want to go ahead and get a dark brown concealer and just begin dotting it on those areas where you have dark spots and blemishes. And as you all can see, I'm simply just, you know, like tapping the concealer on those areas. You don't, you don't want to rub it because when you rub it, you're definitely taking off whatever it is you're applying. So you want to go ahead and just, you know, tap it on the areas where you need to cover. So I went ahead and covered all my dark spots and my fresh acne with a concealer and you just need to tap it like I said, you don't want to rub the concealer all over. You can use any foundation of your choice but when it comes to covering up my acne, my dark spots, my hyperpigmentation, like if you follow my, my channel, you already know the foundation I, I'm about to show you guys and it's my Kat Von D Tattoo Foundation. Like this foundation right here is my absolute best foundation in the world. Like you guys, I can't even tell you guys how many bottles of this foundation I've used? Probably 20. Like you guys, this right here is my favorite foundation when it comes to my dark spots, my acne, my hyperpigmentation. Like, God bless Kat Von D because I don't know what I would have done without this foundation. So, how I normally love to apply my foundation is to go ahead and deposit like maybe two full pumps of the foundation it all depends sometimes i go with three the best way to apply a foundation when you have a problematic skin is to go ahead and start gradually you know and then build up the coverage you don't want to apply everything at once and then start blending so i'm going to be using my beauty blender to apply my makeup you want to go in pick it up immediately and start you know bouncing it up and start bouncing it all over your skin you don't want to waste time because the beauty blender will absorb like your foundation real quick so you want to work very quick if you don't, if you don't want to waste your foundations and as you all can see i'm not rubbing you know i'm not rubbing the foundation all over my face i'm bouncing the beauty blender on my skin and the reason i love to do this is the fact that i notice whenever i bounce the beauty blender it gives me much more coverage Alright, so once I've applied my foundation, the very next thing I love to do is to go in with a concealer that is, you know, close to my skin tone. And I love to use a, this concealer to dot, you know, on the areas where I still have my bomb. You're not going to get rid of the bumps, but it will help a lot in just like giving you a lot more coverage on those areas. And when you're applying the concealer on the bump, you just want to tap it. You don't want to rub it all over the, the, the bump. Just tap it on the bump. Like tapping motion should be your friend when you have a problematic skin because that is the only way you can like apply your foundation, your concealer, your powder and make it like stay on your skin. You just have to learn how to tap. I'm still going to go in with my beauty blender but now I'm just going to use the tip, this tip right here and just use it to blend out the sides of the concealer. So once you're done blending out the concealer, the very next thing you want to go ahead and do is to set your face and I'll be using my black up um, powder and in setting your face, you want to go ahead and like tap the product on your skin. Like I said, you know, when you have a problematic skin, your best tactics is to use a tapping motion. I just love to go in, you know, and tap the powder, especially on those areas where I applied the concealer because that way it will help lock it in. So once you're done applying your powder, that is basically it in terms of covering up your acne, your dark spots, your hyperpigmentation. So you can then go ahead and apply your contour, your blush, your highlights, your lipstick. And while applying your, you know, your highlights, you want to be very, very careful where exactly you're placing it. Don't place your highlights on your acne or like wherever your problem area is because it's going to like emphasize whatever problem you have on that area. I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So I just went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup and that is it you guys. This is exactly how 
I cover up my acne, my dark spots, my hyperpigmentation. Like, if you have a problematic skin, your best technique is to use the tapping motion because that way, you know, whatever it is you apply on your skin with the tapping motion, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move. Yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to help me share this video. Like, I love it when you guys share my video. That way you help me get the words out there. And also don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon.